Okay, I'm going to perform the pH buffers and indicators lab for chemistry 121. I have chopped some cabbage here and I heat it in the microwave. It's a nice dark purple color. And so in the first part, I'm going to um, fill my various tubes uh, with buffer. Let me start with the buffer. I think that's where it starts. So I'm going to start on this end with a pH 2 buffer. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in. Now I have these different sized tubes, which is um, not ideal. It'd be nice if they were all the same size but I only have a few. These are test tubes that I have, and these are qual tubes. Um, so I'm mostly gonna use those. This is the pH four buffer. Mainly we wanna get a nice uniform color that we can see. So that's two, four. I'm gonna go along the front here, six. This one has a dropper, but I'm going to go ahead and just fill them up to relatively similar amounts. All right, this is a uh, seven, so we've got two, four, six, and then. Um, <clears throat> right through the neutral range, we will add that extra seven, which is neutral. All right, pH eight. And 12. All right, after handling these and the lids, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. about a milliliter of this cabbage juice. Nice and purple. And you begin to see those colors. test tube here and these are two uh, with the pH 7 buffers don't have enough racks to hold them on but I'm noticing like this one it's not very uniform so maybe I'll add a little more there it's mixing up a little I'm just gonna add a little more cabbage in there to get a nice clear color just some of those lighter ones just because I like the dark color now this one sometimes takes a while to develop so we'll keep an eye on that one. Notice these two start out looking kind of similar. In these qual tubes, it's a little harder to mix without inverting them. And of course, it's a, you know, I'm not gonna use my fingers. So we get that whole rainbow. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Still, look at this one. This is on the seven, right? It went two, Two, four, maybe the big test tubes were better. 
um, six, and that's a little bit light. Seven, remember we had an extra one in here. And I, oh shoot, <laughs> good thing that's the neutral buffer. Light that all up. All right, I'm gonna add a little more cabbage to it just to make it nice and dark. All right, seven, and then this one is eight, and it's still not, not mixing great at the bottom, but you can see the colors, isn't that pretty? So we have our whole rainbow of colors just from red cabbage, boiled cabbage, that's it. All right, this is starting to distinguish itself a little bit. Gotta be real careful with that one because that one is caustic as opposed to this one, which is a darker green, isn't it? Okay, so you can stop the video to write your descriptions. Just pause it and write your descriptions starting with a pH two, four, six. Make sure it's got a plain background on the video. Seven. Eight. Go with that top color when it's not mixed. Ten. And let's give the 12 another minute to, to develop its color. You can see it's a little different in the greens. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands. The next step, let's see, red cabbage indicator, pH of household materials. So these are our reference solutions. We're gonna keep those. I got three household materials. One was uh, the shampoo. Let me start with the soap though. This is like a fancy pan washing soap. I think it's this one right here. So it's clear to begin with. I just thought, what is that? I don't know what that is. So I'll go ahead and add some cabbage. A little more. And we wanna try and match the color. Now this one, this one looks pretty close to that. It's kind of right in between those. Maybe, what do you think? All right. So remember, you're looking at pH six and pH seven. So decide what is the pH of our sample here. See those colors? It's a little harder to see the color in that big test tube with all the suds. Okay. So that was the dish soap. This one is shampoo. It's a little bit opaque. I'll go ahead and use our indicator. I didn't strain out the cabbage. I'm just drawing from it. Oh, that one's a little different. Well, here we have, um, I think it's clear on the, on the ground there. Here we have uh, pH four and pH six. So this one was four, the pinker one is four, and the more purple colored one is six. So decide what pH, what color is that shampoo? All right, and then this last one is glass cleaner. So this actually has a color of its own. Um, it's got added color to help us identify what it is. So when I add the cabbage, it's going to give a little bit of a different result. Oh, well, that's pretty clear. <laughs> Look at that. This one looks like it's up on this end of the scale. It's pretty close. This is the buffer 10. So there's our 8 and our 10. And uh, there's our 10 and our 12. Check out the 12, look, it has developed a bit more. So now 
this is our 10 and our 12. Oh, my arm's in the way. There we go. So you can really see that color on the 12 is different now. They started out really similar, but now they're different. Okay, so the Windex, actually it's not Windex, but it is window cleaner, falls right around that range. Um, and it did have some blue color, so it might be shifted a little bit, but it really went green pretty quickly. Now, in the third part, we're going to take a look at the difference between buffers. All right, so now we're looking at these two. These are both buffers with a pH of 7. So I'll go ahead and grab that so you can see what I'm looking at. And then I have, uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare one of those to one of these glasses. So this just has water in it. All right, da da da. And then we're gonna add our cabbage indicator to both of those. We'll work with this one first. They're not identical, but they're similar. All right, uh, let's see, maybe. Maybe I'll take these colors out of here just to give a little space for this one. Okay. I've never done this before, recording labs like this from home. So please bear me with me. Can't really see any color in the water anymore. So again, I'm looking at this one is our pH 7 buffer. See a little bit of color with that. Maybe I'll add just a little more cabbage to make sure it's visible. And of course I don't have deionized water. So um, the next step is to take, uh, which one are we doing first? We're gonna do HCl first. So you are gonna record the initial color, right? So this is water with some cabbage indicator. And it's different. You can see some color there. There's the, there's the plain water. This guy. Um, reflection. Right. The plain water is colorless, so you can see that I have added added the, the cabbage dye there. And now we're looking at. I will go ahead and wrap that around here. There we go. They're all by itself on the corner. Page seven is in this one, that's a buffer. All right, so I'm gonna add the HCl. Open the dropper, and we're gonna drop in two drops of solution into the buffer. Wait, what does it say to do? Uh, it says, do the DI water sample first. All right, one, and that has changed colors a little bit. And I'll add three. So we can compare it to our other samples our buffer samples, and we'll add four. All right, now let's do that for the buffer sample. This was the HCl. I'm sorry, that was water with HCl. Now I'm gonna do buffer with HCl. So we'll start with two drops. And 
we'll do another drop. So record the color that you see, and five. All right. So there you see the difference between the deionized water in the shot glass and the pH 7 buffer. Very different. Okay, so let me set that aside. That's with the HCL. Maybe I'll set these guys together. I have another glass of water and another pH 7 buffer. Oh, a little farther away. Okay, so they both start out pretty clear. Okay, we're looking at that spot right there. I'm going to start with my cabbage solution. Now there's actually quite a bit more, well, maybe it's not that much more, but there's a little more water in the shot glass to get a viewable area. So I added a little more, a little more uh, cabbage indicator. So that, I don't know, we'll have to look back at the video and see how that compares. Should be very similar, right, to the one we just did. I might move these over to the side. All right, got those colors. Those look pretty good, pretty uniform. And now I'm gonna add the sodium hydroxide. So I'll start with the water again, two drops. Let's see if that does anything. It's pretty. And that's down there in this spectrum. And another drop. This is three. Oh, I added two accidentally. So this is colors three and four drops. And we'll do one more. Five. Oh. <laughs> this has a sneaky extra drop each time. All right, so that ended up being six. All right, so this is our buffer, pH seven. And I'll start with two drops of base, sodium hydroxide. No, any color changes? Add another drop. Oh, that sneaky second drop got in there. And another one or two. <laughs> All right, take a look at that. These ones are both buffer and they had, this one had base and this one had acid added. Here's the water. Acid added, base added. All right, I think that's the whole lab. Yep, the rest is post lab.